just want to make this video about the uh, the Workos WK series. This is the WK01 and 02. Uh, I consider these to be one of the best AAA lights you can get on the market. Uh, I mean, this is a single AAA and this is a double AAA light, like a pen light. Um, I think for the price, these are some of the best AAA lights. They're only $10 each on Amazon. Uh, they come in a variety of colors. I think, well, I know black and brown for sure. Might be more colors. I, I think it might only be black and brown, but they come in two colors at least. And they also come in uh, two tints. So there's, or temperatures, 4000K and 6000K. These are both 4000K uh, SST20 LED uh, lights. You can get 6000K if you want. I personally don't like that, so I go for 4000K. They're also high CRI, like 95 CRI. Um, when I bought this, I did pay extra for the 4000K, so I actually ended up spending like 20 bucks on this. But as of right now, they're 10 bucks on Amazon. It doesn't matter what you get. I actually got this one for like seven. It was on sale, so even better. But um, yes, they do not come with batteries, by the way, so that's, I mean, it's $10. It's a AAA battery. So, I mean, most people have AAA batteries. They aren't compatible with lithium ion uh, 10440s, but you can use nickel metal hydride and alkaline AAAs, which is what I have. I have nickel metal hydride in these. I have seen people say they use 10440s, but again, it's kind of a, you know, use at your own risk thing. Um, Personally, I don't really care for that because I don't want any higher outputs than there are on these lights. I like the low output. So, speaking of outputs, for the first WK01, it's going to be obviously the weaker light because there's only one AA and less output. So it's going to have less runtime as well. Um, just a normal forward clicky. You got so you can do momentary, and then you can just click to go into the mode. There's also no mode memory in the slide, which is pretty cool. So you have low, one lumen, which just says 45 hours, medium, which is 30 for four hours, and then 150, which is for 50 minutes, which is the highest mode. Um, I do think these run times are based on the 6,000K. So the, obviously the cooler the light, the higher output is naturally, which means that these, uh, uh, runtime output might be a little less, probably gonna be a little less for the 4000K, but I mean, that's a pretty usable moonlight and pretty usable high for something of this size. Um, so that is, for this, I really, really like the mode spacing. I love uh, moonlight, one lumen is big, 30 lumens is very good sweet spot, like 30 to 50 lumens is very good for medium. And then having high is just like a cherry on top. Because really, I don't really need to have high in a light of this size. But it's, it's great. And the switch, very uh, tactile, very comfortable. Some people, maybe some people won't like mode memory. I personally don't like having mode memory on these kind of lights. Because since there's no like UI with like shortcuts, sometimes if, you, if it's on the highest setting, you don't know when you're in the dark, you turn it on. And you just blow your eyes up. But if you know it always comes on low, then you're good. You can just adjust it. Now for the WK02, you have um, the low of 2 lumens for 50 hours, 70 for 4 hours, and then 300 for 35. So it doesn't obviously notice will be higher than the WK01. Again, probably a little bit lower than what I'm reading off because that's most likely based on the 6,000K temperature. As for what comes in the box, uh, it's really nothing special. Um, just a standard workhouse box, the manual, and then a couple O-rings if, if you are curious. Um, in terms of everything else though, I really like the build of Sasha. I also like the brown color, surprisingly. I, I always like black for everything, but I chose brown because um, that was what was on sale and it looks really nice. Um, the weight is good. The size, like this is a, this is even shorter than the, 
a Streamlight Micro Stream. And compared to an i3T, an OLED is actually even a tad shorter and definitely thinner. Definitely a, a smaller circumference in the light. Um, the pocket clip, I mean, it is not two-way clip. Uh, you can put a Micro Stream pocket clip on here, which is two ways. And deeper care, you can you just, you just like attach it to the top here. It will most likely scratch your light, though. That's what happened with me, so I just, I don't really care. I just use the light, the cl clip that came with it. In terms of uh, actual, like, feel in the hand, for being kind of short, like, my hands are not very large, but this is, you know, it's still usable, but I, I actually really like how comfortable the pen light one is to hold. You have a lot of, a lot of space, so you can just use it very easily you can you can also go like this um this light is a little more awkward doing that but uh yeah very uh very very good lights the price they unscrew with the head too which i prefer actually um because then you don't have the risk of you know messing with the button losing the button and you can actually swap like this is a direct swap to I think it might be, I don't know if it's a Lumintop or a Nightcore pen light, but I saw someone just literally screw the head on from that light onto this, and it worked. But, uh, yeah, I think, like, right now, like, this is one of the best AAA lights, especially for the price. And it's extremely compact. The tint is great. The CRI is great. The mode spacing is great. No mode memory. I mean, what more could you ask for? It doesn't tail stand, obviously, because... It's a forward clicky, but I mean, I think it's an awesome light for the price. So I will be linking it below. It is going to be an affiliate link. So any purchase from that does help the channel out. I am actually a new affiliate, so I do need to make three sales uh, pretty soon from those links or else I'll lose my affiliate status. So if you're going to buy a light, it's like 10 bucks. Use the link below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it'll help me out tremendously. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate it if you do that. Anyway, I recommend these lights a lot, and I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching.